What's up guys, it's Carl here, back with another episode, and finally we are back in the studio after a crazy Techtober. It's been a pretty hectic travel schedule, but I've got to do some very, very cool things. If you recall last week, we just had the launch of the brand new OnePlus 6T. I had a giveaway and unboxing for this very OnePlus 6T. That winner is... Congratulations, this one is being shipped off to you. But this video is all about, of course, the camera on the 6T. I know you guys love these videos. And I guess quickly to talk about the camera specs, we've got a dual sensor, so different focal ranges there. It's 16 megapixels f1.7. And I happened to be in Tokyo and I thought that was the perfect location to test out Nightscape. And that's one of the biggest new features coming to the 6T in terms of the camera. I won't spoil too much. I created a bit of a compilation. I worked pretty hard to get all of these shots and I just had an awesome time compiling all of these. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I think that's wonderful for the Gengar. Oh, no go. Oh! <laughs> Two thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> that was the thing that was lacking most with the OnePlus 6 last year, the night shots just weren't as crispy as you wanted them to be. And you really need to kind of understand the shot. If there is too much light, sometimes it may overexpose it. So use it sparingly and use it only when you really have to, but still very useful in those low light shots, which I think a lot of us encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. And I wouldn't say it's as good as the Pixel 3, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, but you have to remember this phone starts at $550. So it's half the price of those other devices. And I think the photos aren't half as bad. You're getting around 70 to 80% of the value and I think that's where the OnePlus really shines. For 550 bucks guys, this is a no brainer. You're getting flagship specs near flagship performance for literally half the price. They've also made some software upgrades to portrait mode, changed around the algorithm to help better detect edges. I actually used this guy in Tokyo, Toronto, and New York and took a ton of different photos and I actually had this at the Apple keynote the very next day. Felt like a bit of a rebel using a OnePlus, snapping pics of all things Apple related, but hey, I had to get the shots and I had to test this guy out. I love the fact that we still have pro mode, the fact that I can manually change white balance, ISO, shutter speed, and I still can't do that over on my Pixel 3, especially in very harsh lighting conditions. Being able to manually adjust, especially if I only have this device as my only camera, I love to have that versatility. And overall, the OnePlus 6T cam has just been awesome to use. And once again, referring back to the fact that the price is so, so attractive. If you already have the OnePlus 6, I don't think you'll see too big of an improvement, especially because they're bringing Nightscape to that. But with all their awesome incentive trade-in programs, you can get 300 bucks off a device that is only $549. Wonder how many times I've said that this video. This camera is truly awesome for the price. And I definitely encourage all of you that haven't tried it out, to just go check it. It's definitely worth it and one of the best cameras, once again for value, that we've seen this year. This phone has traveled nearly 40,000 kilometers in the past couple weeks, has taken some awesome shots, and I hope you guys just enjoy the variety of testing that I brought this guy through. Curious to hear what you've got to say down below in the comments, and I will catch you in one of my next ones or in one of my vlogs. Peace.
Nailed that. 